So you've been thinking about possibly moving to Barrie, Ontario, but you're not sure if it would suit your lifestyle. Perhaps you're comparing multiple cities that surround the GTA, but you're not quite sure which one's the best fit for you. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my top three pros and top three cons to living in Barrie. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For those who are new here, my name is Ryan Miggs and I'm a local real estate agent here in Simcoe County. If you live in the area or you're looking at moving to the area, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be notified every time I come out with a new video. You can also find all of my contact details in the description below, so please feel free to reach out, give me a call or send me an email. Let's chat real estate. Now let's dive into today's video. So Barrie is the largest city here in Simcoe County with a population of around 150,000 people. It is located just 90 kilometers north of Toronto and surrounds an inlet of Lake Simcoe called Kempenfelt Bay. So jumping straight into my pros of living in Barrie, my pro number one is Barrie's amenities. Barrie has everything you need. So if we take a look at the map of Barrie, you can see that Barrie wraps around the lake like this. This has caused there to be some separation between the north end and the south end of the city. So in the south end down here, we have Maple View Drive, and this is where the bulk of your shopping and restaurants are gonna be for the south end. The south end is also where Barry's only Costco is located. Now, if we head to the north end here, we have Bayfield Street, and this is basically the same shopping, same restaurants that you're gonna get at the south end on Maple View. On the north end of Bayfield as well, you also have the Georgian Mall, so having these two distinct areas where there is lots of shopping makes it great for if you live in one of these areas, you don't have to drive all the way across town just to get to somewhere. Barry's other amenities also include five great size LCBOs, 11 Starbucks locations, a picturesque waterfront with a great boardwalk and a huge playground, tons of great local businesses and restaurants, as well as a bunch of great golf courses and so much more. Now onto my pro number two, Barry's proximity to Toronto and the GTA. Barry being just north of the GTA, it is a quick trip down the 400 to get to Toronto. Highway 400 also easily connects to the 401 and the 407. If highway driving isn't your thing, there are also two GO stations in town where you can catch the train and be at Toronto Union Station in an hour and a half. The trip costs $15.25 one way for an adult, or just $12.83 if you're a Presto card holder. Children under 12 also ride for free, and there are discounts for seniors. On a good day with traffic, Barry is also only 50 minutes from Pearson International Airport. Pro number three, Barry has a ton of great homes, neighborhoods, and different price ranges, so there's something for everybody. Barry has a hugely diverse property market, and there is a home to suit every lifestyle. There are a ton of family-friendly neighborhoods which have detached, semi-detached, townhouses, as well as condos. Barry also has a wide range of prices depending on the location and the size of the home. The average price for a detached house in Barry right now is right around 700,000, but prices can range from the high 500s all the way up to $7 million on the water. Now, when we talk about townhouses, the average price of a townhouse in Barry is gonna run you about 600,000, but townhouses do range between 540,000 to $800,000. The average price for a condo or an apartment in Barry is right around 550 to 600,000, depending on the size and the building. But condos do range from as low as 370,000, all the way up to 1.6 million for a penthouse on the lake. Now let's get into my top three cons for living in Barry. Number one, and the fairly obvious one is the winters. Even though Barry isn't that much further north of Toronto, the winters here can be brutal. The snowy period generally starts right around early November and can last all the way to mid-April. On average, Barry receives about 50 centimeters of snow every month in the winters, with January and February having the largest snowfall and the lowest temperatures. In the winter months in Barry, temperatures average between 5 degrees and negative 12 degrees. Temperatures can get as low as negative 35 degrees, not including the wind chill. If you are thinking about moving to Barry, you'll want to consider how big of a driveway you want, or perhaps even just going into a condo. Con number two, Barry's traffic. This is possibly my least favorite part about living in Barry. I don't know what it is about Barry, but some days it feels like it just takes forever to get anywhere. 
There seems to be never-ending construction on the roads, as well as traffic, congestion, and it just feels like it can take so long just to get to the other side of town. In the summertime, Barrie is also a popular destination for those coming through to get to the cottage. This creates a huge amount of traffic on the highways, and when the highways are backed up, everybody gets off and tries to cut through town, making it so much worse. If you currently live in the GTA, you probably won't find it too bad, but for me, the traffic in Barrie is just brutal. And finally, con number three. Barry is a sleepover town. So because Barry is so close to the GTA and is so easily accessible, it has become a very popular place to live for those that work in the city and commute every day. To me, even though Barry feels super busy, it feels like there is no community. And as somebody who used to work downtown in Barry running a local restaurant, there was definitely a huge lack of interest from locals who want to get out and support their local businesses. It's crazy when you visit Barrie in the summertime, it is absolutely packed. There are people everywhere downtown, and in the winter, it's like an absolute ghost town. Since we've moved just 25 minutes north to Aurelia, it has really shown me just how much community can be had in a town of only 35,000. And when Barrie is five times the size and has less of a community feel, it really is something that I think Barrie is lacking. So there you have it guys, my top three pros and cons for living in Barrie, Ontario. If you got value from this video or you're thinking about moving to the area, please hit that subscribe button. And remember you can find all of my contact details below in the description. So please give me a text, a call or an email and let's chat. See you in the next video.